In this video, I'm going to install Ubuntu 2004 long-term support in a virtual machine. In this case, I'm going to use VMware. So the first thing I need to do is install VMware Workstation Player and just go through the setup. I'll also need to download the Ubuntu ISO, which is on my desktop. And once it's installed, I'll select finish and then I'll launch VMware Workstation Player. To create a new virtual machine, we go to Player and then File and then New Virtual Machine. And then what we want to do is select ISO and then we want to select Browse and then select our Ubuntu ISO. And it should detect that it's Ubuntu 2004 and take you through the automated setup. So type in your full name and then your username has to be all lowercase with no spaces. So I would just use my first name as my username and then type in a password and confirm it. In the next screen, we can use the defaults, but I'm going to add 2004 here just so I know the version. Okay, so the virtual machine's hardware by default is set up to be very poor indeed. Um, basically, it's set up for minimum system requirements. I'm going to increase the maximum disk size to 120 gigabytes. Note that this doesn't mean you're going to use up 120 gigabytes on your computer. It just means that you can expand the virtual machine storage to 120 gigabytes. And in the next screen, we're going to select customize hardware. And we're going to bring up the task manager and go to the performance tab. So we see the first thing in the list is memory. So let's go to our memory. Now this machine's got 16 gigabytes of RAM and What's more important is the RAM available. So you see the RAM available is 11.5 gig. And you want some additional overhead for the operating system. So I wouldn't go above eight gigabytes in this case. I'm actually just going to choose four gigabytes of RAM. And the next thing is processors. So we select our CPU and we see we've got four cores. So we're going to select four processor cores. And you can enable the other virtualization technologies, but this is basically if you want to make nested virtual machines. If we go to USB controller, we're going to change it to USB 3.0 because this virtual machine supports USB 3.0 natively. And we're going to go to display. We want to accelerate 3D graphics and we see we've got 7.9 gig of graphics memory. So let's just up this to the maximum, three gigabytes. And now we can go ahead and launch the virtual machine. So we'll be prompted to install VMware tools for Linux. So select download and install, and then accept the user account control prompt. The installation of Ubuntu will be more or less automated and the virtual machine will automatically restart and then it will install VMware tools. So you'll be prompted to log in. And as mentioned, VMware tools will be automatically installed so you can resize the virtual machine and the window will automatically resize to match. And you'll also be able to copy and paste from the host PC to the virtual machine. and you can resize it full screen. And we see to the left hand side that the Ubuntu store has just been installed. So you'll be given the option to connect to your online accounts. I'm going to skip this. You'll be given the option to sign into Live Patch. I'm going to skip this as well. You'll be given the options to help improve Ubuntu, which I'm going to do in this case, but you may want to disable. It's your own preference. You'll be given the location services screen, which I'm going to enable. 
So this is obviously important if you're going to use things like maps and use it to look up regional news and things. And then you'll be given information about the store. So let's just select done. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up some of the icons that I don't really use. So just right click them and select remove from favorites. Now unfortunately VMware have Americanized to install. So let's go to all applications and then go to settings and then region and language. And we can get rid of America and select the United Kingdom. And then select restart. And then once we log back in, we should be in UK regional settings. And I know that the time's still wrong, so it's probably got some American time zone. So let's go back to settings and then go to date and time. Yep, it says we're in Los Angeles. Let's turn on automatic time zone and now we're in the UK. Okay, so installing the virtual machine on a laptop with a touch screen, you may want to go to screen display and up the size, say, to 200%. In my laptop, when I done this, and basically when I logged in and out or resized it, then the settings wouldn't stick, but they seem to stick in this desktop. You may also want to enable universal access and enable the touchscreen keyboard. So the touchscreen keyboard should populate when you've got any text input windows. So for example, if we open Firefox and the address bar is selected, then the touchscreen keyboard displays. Now, unfortunately with touchscreen, and Firefox, basically when you try and scroll it highlights text instead. And I actually got the same issue when I installed Ubuntu directly on the touchscreen laptop. And to resolve this I installed the Chromium browser instead and it worked fine. Unfortunately within VMware when I install Chromium I basically get the same problem as Firefox. And paradoxically, when I use Fedora 32, Firefox worked fine and Chromium didn't. However, within the virtual machine for Ubuntu, in my case, when I'm trying to touch Chromium or Firefox, I highlight the text instead of scrolling, which makes it quite infuriating to try and use and touch.